Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video I know I said I wouldn't make any new game modding content or anything like that But It's my channel. I can do what I want <laughs> So anyway Today's video is one of the first Big breakthroughs in a long time that at least I found out about on my own Nobody told me about this. I didn't know this existed. Dumping IL to CPP files online without having to download IL to CPP dumper. So I was looking at this website because I was just looking at, you know, any updates for IL to CPP dumper so I could make sure that my version was up to date because it's not. And I discovered when I Googled IL to CPP dumper, this website, il2cppdumper.com. And I was going to make a mod for myself of No Limit Drag Racing 1.4.1 because I enjoy the game. I just don't enjoy the grind. I don't have the time or the patience to put in the grind. So I was going to download the dumper, make my own mod, install it on my phone, and be all hunky-dory happy. Well, I didn't know this website existed. And I tried it, and it actually does everything without having to download IL2CPP Dumper. So basically, the way it works is you upload the uh, library file, then you upload the metadata, and then it dumps everything. And you can actually control here all the things that you may or may not need. So let's actually do it real quick. So this is my IL2CPP file. It's going to upload it does take a moment this is a 30 megabyte file and compared to where I am from where my Wi-Fi router is I haven't wired networking to this room yet so it's a little slow but you know it'll I'll get there I'll get there how are you guys today doing good we're we gonna have like therapy time with David I would be a terrible therapist. Don't even try. But, man, it looks so wonky recording this screen and having to scale it to 1080p because I'm on a widescreen monitor now. I have this widescreen, I think it's 32-inch LG monitor. It's a really nice monitor. But... Recording on it, I've realized, is a little bit strange. So, this might be the gameplay monitor, and then the one to the left is the recording monitor. But, as you can see, you upload that IL to CPP file, then you upload the metadata file, which is super quick. It's six megabytes. Da, 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 da. Copyright. So, it uploads... Eventually, maybe, yes. And then as you can see, you can actually select if you want certain things by basically enabling configurations and you can actually go in and select what stuff you need. Now, personally, I only need the DLLs because that's all I modify. I don't mess with IDA. I don't mess with any of the Python stuff. I only need the dummy DLLs. So I can go in. I can click dump. And it dumps it for me in this magical way that it works. It generates your download link. And then you're on your way. And that's all it takes to dump an IL to CPP file in 2020. You simply click the image of the download file and you open it. And I have all my stuff. There it all is. So it still gave it to me with everything dumped. I'm not sure why, but you know, it doesn't matter. I'm guessing I probably misunderstood something. Maybe I would leave everything 
selected. Just let it do it and then just delete what you don't need. But that's all it takes to dump IL to CPP stuff in 2020. So, you know, huge shout out to these four. Prefair was the original IL to CPP dumper uh, creator that was universal. Before that, I think there was one that worked only for Pokemon Go. And it was modified by Pref- uh, Prefair to work with any Unity game, I think. I remember a dumper for Pokemon Go only. And then suddenly there was the one for every Unity game. But, you know, obviously credit where credit is due. And this is awesome. Um, I think I'm going to get back into making my old patcher. Because that would make modding games a lot easier. But we'll figure it out in the future. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the simple, simple video. That I do not know how I would make it 10 minutes. Because that would honestly be pretty pointless. Um, If there are any specific videos you guys want, let me know in the comments down below. I'm getting back into the swing of making videos. Videos once a week on Wednesdays at 11.15 a.m. I figured I'd put it on a somewhat weird time rather than a normal time of like 11 flat. I got sneeze. I don't know. Thank God for mute buttons. I sneeze like an elephant. Anyway, but yeah, every Wednesday I'm going to try to upload and then I'll do shorts at random, especially at work. It'll be so easy because I get so many weird repairs. I get so many weird things that come through my shop. Um, If I can figure out anything to make a video on or a short on, my boss is all for it. I do want to even set up a place to actually record doing repairs. But the hard thing is not leaking customer data when you're doing that kind of thing. So I'd have to like test the devices off screen or something like that. And then, I don't know. It also depends because it's only me and my boss at work. So I can't really sit there and record a video when it's just two people at work. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give me video ideas down below. Peace out.